the 6th day of March 2008 and uh, we're going to be cutting down to the beautiful millicom.com and uh, giving you a bit of an insight into some of the news that's been occurring on this beautiful day. But firstly, we're going to go say good day to Danny down there and uh, over on the other side of the craft. Danny, how are we looking at from your perspective? Uh, hello Tommy and welcome on board. Superstars from around the world. Tommy, I was just playing uh, this tune. Do you remember this one? This is a uh, tune coming up on the GF series. I can't wait. Sounds like a bit of a... She's a cracker. That this would be a transmission a contact. Transmission contact. And, uh, She's a bit of a cracker, but that's just in a, a little bit of a preview. Uh, Tommy, it's been another uh, magnificent day. Earth date being uh, March 6th. Is that, is that right, boss? Right. March 6, 2008. It's been a big day around the planet Earth, but it's just nice to know that the planet Earth still exists and we haven't been bombarded by solar rays or a meteoroid or an asteroid that's completely gone out of control. Uh, how are we going uh, in the communications office there, uh, Tommy? We've got some news that I believe you might put forward a little later on on James Lovelock, who has come out and given us an overwhelming and heartfelt uh, description of what he believes is the true state of the planet Earth at this time. And uh, for those people who are active and uh, going hard when it comes to trying to seek balance on this planet, you have nothing to worry about. For those people who have been contemplating doing nothing, I think it's a, a stern reminder of just the reality of what's going on on planet Earth. Uh, first up, uh, Danny, would you like to hear a bit of news before we go into that story? Oh, look, uh, how, about I, how about we jump into James Lovelock straight up and then uh, follow it up with some news since this is going to uh, pave the way for, uh, for the possible future of all people. You happy with that? Sounds good, Danny. Go okay. hard. Okay, too easy. Uh, let's jump down to the uh, millicom.com site and uh, there's a wonderful picture there of uh, James Lovelock who's a, uh, a meteorologist from the United Kingdom and uh, he is someone uh, that we've uh, followed his, uh, his life for, uh, for quite some time now and uh, now he is falling essentially into uh, alignment with uh, the Pentagon report which you can jump onto the categories at millicom.com and have a look at the contents of that report. And uh, look, James Lovelock isn't piss farting around anymore. He states, enjoy life while you can. And uh, this uh, article has come out today uh, in the United Kingdom uh, in, the, uh, in the Guardian newspaper. And um, I'm going to scroll down to um, the area where he's uh, pretty much telling us, or the people on the planet Earth, that uh, things are about to hit the hay, so to speak. And uh, we'll jump down to the site. Uh, it states, Lovelock believes global warming is now irreversible and that nothing can prevent large parts of the planet becoming too hot to inhabit or sinking underwater, resulting in mass migration, famine and epidemics. Britain is going to become a lifeboat for refugees from mainland Europe. So instead of wasting our time on wind turbines, we need to start planning how to survive. To Lovelock, the logic is clear. The sustainability brigade are insane to think we can save ourselves by going back to nature. Our only chance of survival will now come from less technology. But Lovelock has been a big advocate of nuclear power as uh, he obviously states that uh, we have far too much uh, energy needs to, uh, to be relying on um, uh, uh, renewable energy. And uh, the article goes on and giving us all a stern reminder that uh, it may be a little bit... Uh, James Lovelock continues on with his uh, statement as he talks to The Guardian, stating that he doesn't believe that uh, uh, we're really going to get past the period of uh, 2100. And he does state that uh, it's looking at the period in the next 20 years, if we're lucky, to see uh, at least the... Um, 
at least 20% of the population surviving from, uh, from major catastrophes and it really does fall into line with our uh, climate village project which really uh, is the only real need to concentrate on is, uh, is developing infrastructure which is going to get us out of the Humpty do. Over to you. Yeah, fair enough there, Danny. That is uh, a bit of a cracker, without a doubt, and uh, good old James Lovelock is a pioneer when it comes to uh, appreciating and understanding the true delicacies of the planet Earth and uh, the interconnected, uh, uh, the work of, uh, of air, water, soil and biodiversity and that uh, we are on a living system and uh, the sooner human beings work that out, the sooner they might uh, avoid a serious kick to the back of the head. Um, Danny, let's look at the uh, back at the site. We've got some um, uh, systems which are going on. The first of which um, we look at uh, some near-miss asteroids. Uh, all this is available on millicom.com if you want the serious details on what's going on and uh, find out for yourself uh, exactly what happened there. Further news goes to earthquakes. Um, as we've been seeing over uh, since the duration of Project Blue Star, there has been an increase in the advent of intensity and uh, uh, frequency of earthquakes around the planet. Always, as per usual, the Pacific Ring of Fire is uh, what, uh, where we get our most inundation of earthquakes. And at this point in time, uh, to the north east of Australia, where Fiji is, over near the Philippines, have just received a 6.5 and 7 magnitude. Uh, moving further up to Japan, which has been fairly calm over, uh, over recent months and uh, instead the, uh, the action has been occurring over there on the eastern rim of the Pacific uh, Ring of Fire and that's in the United States uh, where uh, preparation procedures have been put together uh, in, uh, in fear of a big one, a big kick to the back of the head and that's fair enough considering California received 100 earthquakes every single day and nearly 37,000 of them per year so um, it's also one of the so-called biggest economies on the planet and, uh, and that's, uh, that doesn't really mean too much when it comes. So uh, further news that we've got on the millicom.com as we go back to the Philippines who are now trying to put the pieces back together uh, and uh, as more fears uh, rise on landslides following the earthquakes they've just received. Um, but if you have been watching the Philippines closely, you'll realise that uh, their uh, climatic ver um, uh, since uh, or at least the last five or six years, there hasn't been too much rest when it comes to climatic variation. Um, there's some information there on the Philippines. Also, um, uh, further uh, cyclone activity. Uh, good old Australia over in Broome as well as in Cairns are getting an inundation of water um, based on a, a cyclone depression which is building up there. Also in Port Lewis um, uh, which is in Ma uh, Mauritius, is that right Danny? Mauritius. Mauritius, that's probably a better way of saying it. I think I prefer that way too. Um, the news here that we've got on millicom.com just talks about some of the, uh, the inundation and effects that the, uh, this cyclone cell is causing. And uh, as per usual, uh, it's causing a disruption to all roads, power outages, and, uh, and the region. Uh, strangely enough, some people are talking about the beautiful inundation of water as their uh, water supply has been down for so long, but I don't think the amount of water they're about to get is going to satisfy any thirst because it's going to wash away any sort of uh, feeling of uh, lifestyle whatsoever. How's your time there, Tommy? Uh, Danny, we're soon to wrap up anyway. I think we've got, uh, we're on 9 minutes 30, so uh, let's count down. Guys.com uh, to find out more details on that. Danny, how are you doing on the roundup for today's news? James Lov Lovelock, what a cracker. Yeah, he's a champion. Uh, just quickly, Europe, record heat for, uh, for winter and also um, rice uh, is surging at a 20-year higher price throughout, um, throughout the, uh, the Asian continent which is going to be a major problem for obviously the future. So uh, back to you and we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Beautiful, Danny. Thanks very much, folks. Thanks for joining us. Today's the 6th of March 2008. Keep active wherever you are and, uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's enjoy this celebrational effort of humankind until, uh, until things really go down. It doesn't matter because we're all here to make the most of it. See you tomorrow.